Welcome to the IGA magazine from Kialami, South Africa. And let's uh, look at the start of the race. Uh, you can see the race uh, in German uh, with the commentary of uh, Christian Sigmann. And uh, well, here we see the start uh, from pole setter uh, Mr. O'Connor. Uh, who was uh, in front because um, the shootout uh, was not uh, taking place. And here we see Yannick Lapstich attacking Gonzalez Cativo, who was, well, he counters here. And uh, he was only in front of Yannick Lapstich because uh, the shootout uh, was, uh, wasn't taking place. And here we see uh, a mistake of Yannick Lapstich and he is, uh, well, still in fourth position uh, and... Uh, we see that he's much quicker in these first rounds. Here we see Stefan Köhler, Rain Daisuke, um, a rock star. And uh, here we had uh, the new teammate um, of uh, Gonzalez Cativo for this race, Johannes Michel. And here we are back in front with uh, John Atkinson Jr. who had uh, a very good pace uh, at the weekend. And he was following uh, Andrew O'Connor who was, well, setting the fastest lap. And uh, then we see Yannick Lapstich finally, well, passing, well, the uh, slower Gonzalez Cativo, uh, who was on a one-stop strategy uh, like Yannick Lapstich. But uh, we will see that uh, John Atkinson is on a two-stop. Um, and, uh, well, that's the point why he is so much quicker. Uh, then his teammate and behind Gonzalez Cativo is uh, Pascal Polenz, who was very quick in the first rounds on the harder tires and was able to follow uh, Lapstich and Cativo um, while they're battling. And here we see McCain and Hermsen. Uh, McCain got a few uh, cooling problems. Um, we will see later in the magazine that they will be solved for the next race by Speedster. Uh, well, and uh, later in the race he got problems with the cooling and, uh, well, lost a few positions, but we will see. Henry Hermsen, the championship leader here in the Forge on the harder tires. And now we are in the, well, helmet uh, camera of uh, Jack McCain. Uh, well, Henry Hermsen passed him. And, uh, well, from then on it was uh, not the best race for Jack McCain because of that Cooling problem. Well, uh, in front, John Atkinson was following uh, O'Connor with that two-stop strategy. Um, Christian Sigmund, uh, the German commentary uh, for this uh, race, um, well, said it uh, in the race um, that the strategy of Atkins was a little bit strange uh, because it was not an aggressive two-stop with uh, lower fuel load or so. Um, well, he was going very long in the first stint and that, uh, well, was a little bit confusing, the Austrian commentator, but uh, I think also uh, the other drivers. Um, and the question is, uh, um, did O'Connor know that Atkinson is on that kind of strategy? Well, we see that uh, Yannick Lapstich is uh, now uh, behind uh, the leaders and uh, Cativo is losing ground but he is gaining uh, some seconds on Poland while Hermsen starts to gain on Poland and McCain uh, is a little bit uh, dropping off because well the cooling problems began Mark Jordan uh, drive for Russia or drove for Russia this weekend uh, the English guy um, well he was put into the Russia because nobody was there for Russia to drive. Well, and he was a reserve driver for Clifford. Well, we saw Lucas Bingenheimer who was struggling in his uh, Ganami. And now we see the first pit stop of John Atkinson. A little bit earlier than the two Cliffords, but not that much. Uh, well, you would accept uh, or ex expect uh, when, uh, when you hear that he is on a two-stop. So, well... A little bit strange strategy by the U.S. American and well, Cativo is through uh, for sure because he was not uh, not on the pits. And there we see Pascal Polens 
who also get through and we see that Henry Hermsen gained uh, a bit of time on the uh, on Pascal Polenz. Well, now we are on board with uh, John Atkinson, now with Pascal Polenz, who, well, was driving the harder set of tires. And, uh, well, Yannick Lapstich uh, was uh, there behind his teammate and he was, well, maybe the the quicker guy in this stage of the race. Um, he uh, had a big gap uh, to break down to his teammate after uh, Gonzalez Cativo was blocking him for a few laps. But then, uh, well, he tried after his 10th position uh, in the last race where he uh, not see the finish. Well, to score a lot of points here and well and here we see the gap to Gonzalez Cantivo is very very big you see uh, place 4 and 5 also Pascal Polens uh, who has not pitted yet like Gonzalez and uh, also we see well John Atkinson behind him who has pitted well and I think uh, the race was maybe tactic the best uh, and uh, I think uh, from the battle uh, side also and well John Atkinson had to pass uh, Pascal Polens for sure because he was on the worn uh, harder tires and Atkinson on the fresh softs well Lapstich and uh, O'Connor um, still into the lead and uh, well we all uh, we're asking, there we see Michel, who is letting uh, O'Connor through, and <laughs> uh, the luck uh, was there that uh, that O'Connor was not pitting. It was Lapstich who was pitting first. Uh, so we all thought that uh, O'Connor would pit the next lap. Now the question would be, uh, is John Atkinson able to pass Lapstich? Well, we know that he is on a two-stop. Um, the drivers in the race couldn't know it and we have a look here did do we see Atkinson there is he and he passed Pascal Polens but I think this uh, fact that he maybe uh, that he passed uh, Polens maybe cost him that position to lap stage was very close there and well um, now he has to pass Yannick lap stage because well uh, there is Gonzalez Cativo at the moment in front of him who is doing a pit stop less than Atkinson and well here he tries it I think and touches lapstick here and uh, well there were much battles in this race for the lead and for the first positions and uh, I can tell you that we will see well lot of chaos in the last lap so well very interesting race and uh, now we see O'Connor doing his pit stop the British driver this race in the Clifford after he drove for uh, I think for Russia in the first race he drove and it was the second race of the season we see Gonzalez Cativo also pits and Andrew O'Connor is well uh, Staying in position, he is still into the lead. Pascal Polens um, passes uh, Gonzalez Cativo in this moment because he, uh, well, did a longer first stint and Cativo joined in fifth position. Well, there we see Pascal Polens pitting and, well, he was in a battle, uh, well, on the clock <laughs> against uh, Henry Hermsen and there we see Henry Hermsen. Uh, but now we see Gonzalez Cativo, who is fourth, and he's very safe in this fourth position. Um, maybe he will have the chance later to pass uh, his, uh, well, his not teammate, but uh, uh, Saldo partner, uh, John Atkinson. 18 seconds, he's behind Atkinson, so that will never work for John Atkinson. And here we see Jack McCain and you see how much he lost because of this uh, cooling problems. There we see Mark Jordan at the moment uh, in this stage of the race in the 8th position in the Russia GP. Well, but he was causing a very chaotic uh, last lap 
You will see later, there we see Lukas Bingenheimer who was struggling in the Ganami IGP with the harder tires. Well, but I think uh, he did not that bad. And here he really let them buy very well. And uh, well, you see here is the battle for the second place. Lapstich and Atkinson. And uh, well, and here we see Pascal Polens losing it in the fast left corner and Henry Harmson is through and he's in fifth position. Here we see the battle is going on and well I think Leipzig was not very happy with this action of Atkinson but he get through and well the race control said it was a, uh, a racing uh, incident so well no action from the from the guys in the tower well, here we see it again. Well, he, he was faster in this stage because he had to do another pit stop and he was on a lighter fuel load. Well, he touches him on the side and then gets through. Not 100% perfect, but I think it's okay. And here we see, uh, well, that Lapstich uh, tried hard to repass him. But he was pushing hard in this stage of the race and, well, he was on a good way to pass John Atkinson back and uh, that show that uh, shows you that he was not sure that Atkinson is on a two stop. Well, the only man in, in this pack of four guys you see on the left side, Cativo in fourth, he knows that uh, that uh, Atkinson was well on a two stop and here we see the scene uh, which will cause a lot of trouble in the last laps. It's Mark Jordan who is crashing into Lapstich after he made this mistake by himself and then he was crossing the road. Well, a little bit, uh, well, I think it's just a well, stupid situation. And now we see the last lap after the virtual safety car and see that Cativo is pushed around by John Atkinson in the last corner for second place and Henry Hermsen who had not, well, not a chance of the second place really gets it and that's a big point for Henry Hermsen and now we see the action again and to this moment Christian Sigmund uh, thought uh, it was a spun by Cativo but he was clearly touched here and loses control and Atkinson himself is not uh, driving through the finish line with full speed well and that meant that uh, well he was dropping back in fourth position and later he lost this position because of a five seconds penalty more in the news and they are following now and here we see the news uh, there was this five seconds penalty i uh, well told you um, for john atkinson uh, well, and the stewards uh, were sitting together after the Kialami Grand Prix and said, well, it was an unnecessary collision uh, caused by John Atkinson. And so, uh, well, he gets this penalty, uh, well, and he changes the position with Gonzalez Cativo uh, because of this penalty. Um, and, uh, well, so he's fifth and Cativo is fourth. Well, that's, I don't think that this will be uh, big news for Gonzalez, who should have been in second position. Um, well, but uh, I think Hermsen and uh, Poland are happy with their positions in uh, second and third place. Then we have the Trophy Germany. We had a video with uh, information yesterday in German. Uh, and here are the facts. There are three tracks. Um, it's uh, the Nürburgring, uh, the Lausitz ring and uh, the Hockenheim ring and uh, well on these tracks um, we drive in eight days um, and uh, well there is a title to gain it's the Trophy Germany and this title is only for the drivers. Uh, Russia GP uh, there is a big question if they are in financial problems again. Uh, we will see if, if they drive uh, the next places or not. Uh, and big news uh, for Saldo and Speedster, they are allowed to update their cars uh, because um, Saldo, uh, well, 
had problems uh, from begin on with their engine mapping and uh, controls and uh, that was causing well a nearly undrivable uh, car and uh, uh, on the exits there were drivers uh, using the second gear uh, and uh, well um, that was a big problem for them and so they were allowed to fix that and well um, we have to see if they are a little bit overpowered because um, well the race control said that this changes could be changed for the race uh, at the Lawsuit Ring. And um, we have good news for Speedster. They can improve their cooling system because they had cooling problems with uh, Jack McCain. And uh, they done so, so they should well, be better prepared for the Nürburgring. Uh, and then, uh, well, there's a question I cannot answer you at the moment. Uh, there are rumors it is, uh, well, um, there is a new team uh, in the Clifford camp and uh, well we don't know yet uh, when this team will uh, drive and if it is driving but uh, we we heard that uh, O'Connor Andrew O'Connor the winner from uh, Kia Lamy uh, is maybe one of the drivers of the new team so that could be interesting and um, well we will see uh, what this new team can do in the fourth race if they are driving there and yeah the next race is the fourth race it's the fourth Grand Prix of the 2015 season the fourth Grand Prix of the summer season at the Nürburgring in Germany and I wish you good days and, and say goodbye <laughs>